plants. Mm -hmm. Native plants primarily and native insects. So let's look at our photos and it'll, the photos will illustrate some of the things he talks about. Oh, aha, what am I doing? I'm holding up one of the few things not mowed, not knocked down or cut off in recent mowing on Pinnacle Prairie. It got to the point of heat and uh, dryness that the uh, maintenance crew decided to go ahead and mow even though it had been a year since they mowed. And uh, if we're recording this, uh, I, I hope we'll, you'll see it next week again, but anyway, this is on the, the uh, 23rd of August 2010. So you can see how the grass is down and all that, but I was able to move grass aside and pull up some of the, the stems that were knocked down and not actually cut off. And most of the grass is cut off, but uh, those were some uh, sunflower stems and here's liatris. And I discovered it's pretty easy in the past to actually take some of the dead grass and prop it up, prop up some of these flowers. That's liatris and you see how beautiful it was, even though it had been knocked down by the mower, it still was magnificent. So uh, if we got quick rain, a lot of those things would be trying to stand up on their own. So the grass will come back so you can see because this is the time of year that the big blue stem is just starting to, uh, to get tall and beautiful. Here's uh, one of the plants that in the area they, they didn't mow, which is in the, the wettest part of it. It's not a fire danger at all. Uh, this is you see a lot of pollinators on there. Well, Doug Tallamy, as I said, an entomologist, he talks about how valuable the native plants, such as this uh, blue verbena or swamp vervain, it's variously called. It's verbena astata, and it's growing out there with willow trees. And those willows are only two years old because that land was actually mowed more than a year ago. But they were very kind for the last year and let the, the natives grow uh, along the trail. You can see the trail back in the background that goes through it from from end of 12th Street, uh, West 12th Street, uh, up, uh, winds up to the uh, new student apartment complex. Well, if you can see the pictures, you can see them a lot closer on my website and uh, on the my Flickr photos, which you can find from from uh, my blogs and, and old website, but I made several pictures of that, that blue verbena, verbena hostata, because it is one of the most magnus, magnificent things out there. Um, so much was mowed down, but as I say, you can stand it up, and uh, it, it really is important if you, if you have a field and you have to feel compelled to mow it this time of year because you don't, you worry about fire starting in it or something, in the driest parts, well, well, this this is something you can do. You can go out there and rake the grass off of some of those nice plants. This is um, bone set, and I was just showing you this interesting fly, and some of the other uh, bees. And there's a butterfly on the same species of bone set, and this is just one of hundreds of native species that live in these fields like that that have not in this case never been plowed and used for pasture decades ago but kept mowed down so that invasive species haven't taken over really. There is fescue in, 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 uh, out there but there's also blue stem, little blue stem, uh, Indian grass, a bunch of the native species of grass. There you can see several pollinators. If you've got your home with a big uh, television you probably see these pictures. Get you a copy of this book, and this man tells you about maintaining native species in your yard. He spoke in Fayetteville on the uh, 20th of uh, August 2010, and it's uh, Doug Tallamy. Okay, well, until next time, this is Aubrey Shepard asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. See ya.